Hello friends, I'm Mary from the Austin Nature and Science Center. I'm here in the Zilker Preserve to show you some lovely examples of the sedimentary rocks that we have here in Austin. Today is Teaks Tuesday and we are going to learn about why fossils are found in sedimentary rocks. These limestone rocks formed in layers over millions of years. Back then, what is now central Texas lay beneath an inland sea. But how do geologists know that this is what happened here so long ago? A geologist is a scientist who studies rocks, minerals, and the formation of the Earth's surface. But geologists are also a bit like detectives. They use clues found in the rock formations of the present to figure out what happened here in the distant past. Geologists classify rocks by the way that they are formed. Rocks are often formed by the cooling of magma or molten rock. Magma can force its way upward underneath Earth's crust and then cool, or it can reach the surface at a volcano or at a mid-ocean rift. These processes form igneous rocks like granite and basalt. Sedimentary rocks are made much more gradually by the buildup of layers of sediment. Sediment may be pebbles and small rocks, sand, mud, or even the remains of living things. Coal starts out as fossilized plant material. Sediments are deposited by wind and water and built up in layers or strata. Each stratum is buried beneath more sediment, becoming tightly compacted. Groundwater may deposit minerals in the sediment, cementing it into solid rock. If these cementing minerals are mostly silicates, the rock will be hard, flinty, and durable. If the minerals are mostly carbonates, like calcite, the rock will be limestone or sandstone, which vary greatly in hardness. Fossils are usually found in sedimentary rocks, which form gradually under conditions that are friendly to living things, like lake beds, swamps, and shallow seas. Here is a fossil that I found in this creek. It looks a bit like a seashell, but I can tell it's a fossil because it's made of rock. The original shell of the animal was replaced long ago by other minerals, especially the mineral calcite. Beneath the rolling hills and trees of central Texas, are hundreds of feet of limestone strata, many with fossils. Groundwater percolates through the rocks, forming springs and further eroding the limestone strata. Caves and sinkholes are then formed in the limestone. Where creeks cut into the land, the layers are exposed. Rocks are weathered to pieces and washed down the creek. Some rocks come from strata that are soft and full of holes. Others come from strata that are full of fossils. Often the fossils are harder than the surrounding rock and will stay whole after the rock breaks apart. Most of the fossils we find around here are of ocean creatures like coral, oysters, clams, and even mosasaurs. Like detectives looking for clues at a crime scene, geologists can tell a lot about what has happened in an area from looking at the rock strata under their feet. By checking out the minerals and the fossils in each stratum, they can tell when it was deposited and under what conditions. To illustrate some of these clues, we are going to make a model of rock strata that we can look at close up. We will model sediment layers that are full of pebbles and stones using crisped rice. We will use oatmeal and cornmeal to represent different sands forming sandstone. 
mud and silt can be modeled by cocoa. Fossils are represented by nuts and colorful sprinkles. And as a cementing agent, instead of calcite, we are going to use cake batter. The oldest stratum in our formation is laid down first. Geologists know that older rocks are found beneath younger rocks. As the ancient environment changed, the sediments and fossils changed, and newer layers were laid down over the older ones. In the present day, soils and vegetation cover the rock strata below, hiding them from view. But when rainwater forms a creek, which erodes its way into the earth, the minerals and fossils in each layer demonstrate how it was formed. Mudstones and shale are formed in river deltas and swamps. Fossil-filled limestones come from shallow seas. Movements of the earth may stress the rock layers and deform them into strange shapes. Such pressures may even cause the rock to break and form faults. By comparing the minerals and fossils found in different layers, geologists can recognize the same stratum across the landscape and can tell when and how it was formed. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed learning about the sedimentary geology of Austin, and I hope to see you again soon on another Teaks Tuesday.